In this video, we will see how to install Maven on Windows. Let us start. First, we have to download Maven and after that, we will install it. For that, let us search Download Maven. This download page shows various archive files. Either we can select tar file or a zip file. So, I am selecting zip file for this session. So, now the file is downloaded to this directory. So, I am extracting the files here. So, before working with Maven, uh, we have to have JDK. So, Java needs to be pre installed in this machine. So, here I have the Java location. So, I have to set Java home first, and after that, we will set Maven home. So, let me copy this. Now, we have to select my computer. In the PC, we have to right click on it and click on properties. So, here we have to select advanced system settings and environment variables. So, here we have to set Java home as the variable. And in the Java home, we have to provide the JDK path. So, we can click on OK. So, we have set the Java home. We also need to change the path to include this Java home. So, we have to edit path and we have to add a new one. Here, I will add and we have to add up to win directory. Now, we have set the Java home. We also need to set the Maven home. For that, I am uh, copying the Maven folder directory and we have to click new. Here, we have to add Maven home variable. Click on OK. So now we have to edit the path to include this Maven home bin directory. So click on new and just give the bin path of this Maven. So click OK and so now we have set both uh, Java home and Maven home. Let us verify whether these Java and Maven commands are working properly or not. So now we can see that Java version is giving the correct version of OpenJDK. So we will check Maven command MVN icon icon version. So here we can see that it is providing the latest version 3.8.6 and also it is showing the Maven home uh, which is what we have given as the Maven home variable and it is also printing the Java version. So this way we can install Maven in Windows. So now we have installed Maven. Uh, we, we will do the basic configuration and we will verify whether our installation is properly working or not. Basically, in Maven, we can do the configuration in three levels. One is at the installation level, and the second one is the user level, and third one is project level. This is the installation folder. So here we have a conf folder. Under this conf folder, uh, we'll get settings.xml. So this is the XML where we configure all the Maven settings at the global level or installation level. So generally, we don't change this file here. Whatever uh, settings we do will do at user level or the project level. So let us copy this file here and we will copy this to user level here. So this is my uh, user home directory. So in this I will create a .m2 folder and in this m2 folder I will copy the settings.xml from the installation uh, folder. So whatever changes we do at user level, we will do in this file here. So generally we don't do any configuration changes at the installation or global level. Let us uh, check this file content. So we'll keep the settings.xml as it is and we'll execute a basic format. I will explain about all these things in the later videos. So now we'll create a sample project. I will create an example one here. In this sample project, I'll create a form.xml and we'll execute the build. So for this, actually, let me open in the VS Code. So here I am creating the form.xml. So for this form.xml, I am copying the sample form.xml from the Maven website. So this contains like group ID, artifact ID, and version. So here I will change the version to 1.0.0 snapshot. Snapshot indicates which this project is in the development phase. So this is the basic minimum form.xml we can keep in this project. For the uh, Java project, we have to create folders. First of all, SRC. Under SRC, we have to create main. Under main, we have to create Java. So in this Java folder, we have to have uh, our Java files. So I'll keep hello world Java here. So here I am writing a basic program here. So this is a sample Java program. It will just print hello world when we execute this file. So let us save this one. So now we have created form.xml. And we have also created a basic Java file. 
so now we are ready to execute via maven so we have to go to this folder and uh, execute via command window in the command window i am going to the directory where we have the pom.txt command so from here we will execute maven clean install so once we execute so it will try to build our project now it will download all the required plugins initially so i'll explain in detail like how this uh, commands work in the later sessions so this this will take some time so now we have got some compilation error you can see that the compilation error is like source option 5 is no longer supported and also target option 5 is no longer supported so this is related to maven compiler plugin and it is saying that the minimum version of uh, source and target options are 7 or later so for this actually we have to add two properties for the source and target so let us add them in the form.xml so here we have to add two properties for source and target versions so i have added two here like under properties event compiler source and target as 1.7 so we can use like 1.7 or later so let us execute the build again so this time we can see that our build is successful so this way we can verify our basic installation of maven is successful or not so we will see more sessions on this maven in the coming videos i hope you like the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching